The new Treehouse Theater space near downtown Manitowoc is nearly complete, and a select group of people were invited to see the beautifully remodeled building located at 902 Washington Street. An emotional Karen Rohr, the founder and executive director of the Children's Theater, welcomed guests such as Mayor Justin Nichols, members of the Chamber of Manitowoc County, and select families. She said it's almost hard to believe how far the theater has come since it started in her basement. It still doesn't feel real because this has been what I've been breathing for two years, but um, it also got me through COVID to have this to you know look forward to and to work on. So you have to look at the bright side. Roar told Cub News that board members of the Treehouse Theater include interior decorators, woodworkers, and a vast array of people. That's why we were crazy enough to take on this project in the first place. We as a group worked together with the woodworker and the interior designer member and came up with the color scheme and stuff and just did it all together along the way. Every month at board meetings just updated what where we're at, what we found, when we found these crazy beautiful floors underneath. I mean, everybody was ecstatic. So it's just been a really big group project and this would never happen without a whole bunch of us involved. <laughs> While they're just now starting to allow members of the public into the renovated space, they actually began operations on May 1st. Rohr explained that they brought back roughly half of the children they had in the show they were working on prior to the pandemic. The show title is called Once on this Island. It's a prequel to The Little Mermaid. It's a beautiful musical that we're actually going to hold the shows here in our own studio to get more people in here and to give our kids a more intimate environment with which to do their acting. So we'll see how that goes. They're both excited and scared that the audience will be that close, that they'll actually be able to see the, the audience's faces. But, you know, it's a new challenge, and we're always looking for those. While the capital campaign for this project was a success, Roar said they're still about $80,000 short. If you wish to donate, you could do so by dropping off a monetary donation inside their front door. If you wish to view the space before making a donation or are simply curious, there are two more open houses scheduled for this week. Stop in between 4 and 7 on Thursday, June 3rd, or Friday, June 4th, to get a guided tour by staff, students, or a board member.